hey you guys, Amsterdam here, and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys the new YouTube layout. Now I'm going to be trying to show this to you guys in an unbiased point of view, uh, you know, as much as I can. Though even though I do actually personally like the layout, I'm not going to go like persecuting you guys for not liking the layout. But what I would ask you guys to do is to not rate the video in terms of whether or not you like the layout. Instead, uh, whether or not you like the information that I gave you, whether or not you found it informative, whether or not you like the layout. So with that said, let's just go ahead and let's launch right into this here. So the new YouTube layout has become optional for everybody. If you would like to opt into it, you go to youtube.com slash one channel. You scroll all the way down here. And then right here, it's going to say everyone, you know, can now try the design. Click opt in. It'll automatically change your channel to that. And then what you can do is you can go ahead and you can upload a new banner. Now, this is the main thing that people have really been saying is like controversial that they don't really like about the new layout <clears throat> is that the layout gets rid of backgrounds. And I can definitely understand where people are coming from there. But at least in my honest opinion, a channel really isn't made by the artwork that's on its channel, even though it can be kind of cool to look at for a little bit. Ultimately, you're not subscribing to a channel for the artwork that's on the channel. You're subscribing to a channel for the content that it creates. So I feel like that is really the main thing that you want to be capturing when you're seeing a channel for the first time. Uh, if you see a channel maybe that has, uh, I, I don't know, if you can't easily get to the content, I feel like that's going to really stifle your opinion as to whether or not you're going to subscribe to somebody. So anyways, if I go ahead and I click on the new banner here, I can do one of two things. I can click edit links or edit channel art. So if I go to channel art here, you can click and drag a photo to this area. The image size has to be 2120 by 1192 or smaller. I think if it's any bigger, actually I don't know if it needs to be any bigger, but I think the image itself needs to be less than a megabyte. In my opinion, they do need to raise that limit up to like two megabytes or something because as of right now, it's kind of eh. If you need a little bit of help with uh, figuring out how to create the artwork, all you got to do is click on uh, that little link that I just clicked on, how to create channel art, and it gives you the specifications as to how the new channel art is going to look. This is going to be like the logo safe area for desktop. As you can kind of see here with Vsauce's channel, um, this is going to be the logo safe area for mobile devices, um, tablets, and then there's TV one, the TV layout that they are not showing on this page. But anyways, that's how you do that, and that's how I uploaded this little layout right here. And then if I go ahead and I go to Edit Links, it's going to bring me to uh, this page right here. The same, pa It's basically my About page, but I can edit it. Uh, you can see I have AntVenom.com, T-shirts, Livestream, Second Channel, which I don't really use. And then there's these social links right here, and you can display up to four of them at a time. I only have three of them, so I have my Twitter, I have my Facebook, and then I have my Spreadshirt store. And those are the three links that are going to be show up, showing up on the top right here. And then you can also feature the top one on your custom links here. So I can feature antvenom.com right here. You can feature literally any link that you want to. Um, I just chose antvenom.com because I felt like that was going to be the best link to put into that area. And another thing to note as well, since we're on this page, is that your About section is now on this page as well. So this is what your About page is going to look like. There's typically the icons right here. Let me go ahead and let me refresh the page here. Let's see here. Um, let's click on About again. Let's go to discussion. Let's go back. Let's see here. Just want to make sure it's looking right. So yeah, it's not loading up the... Okay, there we go. I was going to say. So you can see your about section is a lot more condensed here right now. It's a lot easier to read in my opinion. Um, I can, Though it's not on the main page anymore. I can understand people's gripes for that one. But I have compressed it down quite a bit. I might even add more information here because I can fit a lot more information. Um, then you have the, the links that you want to have featured right here. Uh, typically, this little icon isn't right there. That's what it'll look like. Shows the amount of subscribers, amount of views, the join date, etc., etc. And then the featured channels, which are also showing up on the top right here. So anyways, moving back to the channel, let's go ahead and let's get into the meat and the bones of how this whole new YouTube channel layout works. So the main thing uh, that they're, you know, YouTube was really trying to get at was to make it easier to get at videos of someone that you are not yet subscribed to or even those who you are, uh, who you are subscribed to. Uh, so let me show you guys how the customization works here. Um, on the on the top of the page here, you can put in a unsubscribe trailer if you want to, and basically that's a trailer or a video that you can feature that will show up autoplayed to people who are not yet subscribed to a channel. Uh, it's kind of recommended that you put in a video, you know, roughly about 30 seconds in length or so. Um, I personally put in my 2012 recap because it has you know a lot of videos that go through the or go through like the kinds of videos that I tend to make. It just doesn't have any of my commentary in it, and it also includes a whole bunch of links to other videos. I feel like that's a very cool way, a very good way to do it. And I also renamed the video to Welcome to Ant Venom's Realm 2012 Montage. I thought that was something that was kind of cool. 
So anyways, moving down here, the way that I have this organized, uh, the first, now getting below this, you have what are called shelves. And you can organize these in one of two ways. When you go ahead and you click on the top right of your shelf here, uh, you get this, uh, you get this little thing right here. You can organize it by the kind of content you want to put into that box and the way you want to list it. So if I want to list it in a horizontal row, I can do that. But I personally don't like the way that looks. I feel like it blends in too much with everything else that's below it. But so me personally, I want to have my recent uploads in a vertical list and this sort of a listing right here. I feel like it kind of makes like this area that you guys see on screen here, the meat and the bones of the channel and everything else is just kind of like extra, you know, more content if you guys are interested in it from this point so anyways let me go ahead and let me create one of these shelves again these are all different shelves I'll show you guys how they're organized afterwards but let me just go ahead and let me create a shelf so let's just say I want to create a shelf hmm let's just say for maybe a playlist or something what I can do is I can select from any one of these I can choose tag if I want to and that's a more sophisticated way of organizing things but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to choose single playlist here and then I'm gonna hit find playlist and it's going to show me all of the playlists that I have I can choose let's just say if I want to feature I don't know Aethermod videos or something like that I can go ahead and I can do that and it's going to auto populate this list based on how the playlist itself is organized so if I want to go ahead and I want to feature the Aethermod videos there we go boom done it's added if I want to make it into a vertical play vertical listing like this boom I can go ahead and I can do that might be cool for the bottom of a of a channel I'm not really sure I haven't really figured out exactly how I want to do this yet but let's go ahead and let's get rid of this here and let me show you guys what is really really cool about how you can set these up now along with the new one channel layout um, they've added something in called or uh, they, they haven't really added something in but they've changed up the way you can uh, edit playlist in that you can create a playlist based on the tags that are in the playlist so that in my opinion is very cool and what we want to do here is we want to go up to I'm gonna go up to video manager here and I am going to click on let's see here so what you can do now is, for example, if I want to search my uploads for Forbidden forbidden Ant Farm Survival or something like that, if I search for Forbidden, it's going to show all of the things from Forbidden Ant Farm Survival. Now what I could do is I could put all of the Forbidden Ant Farm Survival videos into a playlist, and as I add them in, they're going to show up on my channel um, going back here. If I go back to my channel here, um, let's go back to this area right here. Then, as I would add videos into the playlist, they would uh, get added in right here. But what I have instead opted to do is if I go ahead and uh, actually, yeah, as you guys saw before when I searched for Forbidden here, let me go ahead and let me pull that up one more time. When I search for Forbidden here, you can see that it shows all of the Forbidden Ant Farm Survival videos. So when I go into my channel here, let's just go ahead and let's do this here. If I go to my channel, and then I click on the edit area for this. The way that I have this organized is I actually am organizing this list based on the tag. So uh, if you click on tag, you can actually put in a specific tag to search for. So forbidden is what I used in this case. All I did was type in forbidden right here. It shows in the eight results right here. And then I can manage the tag. I can add a title for the playlist as it's so called. And that's very cool. And what the, the my favorite thing about this feature is that newly tagged items will be added to the front of this section by default it'll do that automatically you don't have to manage it or anything like that so when I release episode 9 of Forbidden Ant Farm Survival it's going to automatically be put here so you don't have to worry about me being lazy with my playlists or anything like that um, so yeah another cool thing is that if you want to uh, create playlists based off of very specific tags so for example I wanted to put all of my mod reviews into a playlist but no matter what I searched for, if I searched for mod review, if I searched for something, I would always get videos that didn't really belong in the playlist. So if I go to video manager here, and then I, if for example, type in, you know, let's just type in mod review by itself. I'm going to get mod reviews, but then I think there's a few videos here and there that might not... Like, yeah, there's actually... It's not that there's anything wrong with this listing, it's that there's a lot of videos that are missing. And uh, I think you see there's a seed showcase in here as well. I don't really want to populate the playlist, you know, incorrectly. So instead what I did is I went to, I think I typed in mod. I think this is the way that I did this. I selected all the videos that I wanted to add to this playlist. I did it just like this. See, like I don't want the hidden in there because it says source engine mod. I don't want paintball PVP or a map. But then I selected radar bro mod, etc, etc. And then I hit this tag option that's here. And what I did is you can either find or add a new tag. So if I want to type in, for example, mod review, all is one word, you can see there are 77 videos that fit mod review, and there's a checkbox here because every single video I have checked currently has this tag, and that's what I did. 
So for, for example, if I typed in mod review 2 just for the sake of typing in a tag that I don't have, I can actually add this tag to every video that I have selected. So you can create these custom tag listings based off of a certain tag that you want to have. And then once I did that, once I added, uh, if I go ahead and I search for mod review in my channel here, you can see that it pulls up the every single video that I've done that is a mod review here goes all the way back to my very first mod review let's see here uh, maybe some, oh yeah I was gonna say there's a page three here so page three it goes all the way back to my single player commands tutorial which was which technically MC well technically MC edit here isn't a mod but I feel like it applies and I don't know what this one's doing in here I might uh, I should probably get rid of that one I don't know why that one has the tag mod review uh, let's see here let's get rid of that one so hope, I, I'm not sure if that's going to select every one of them or anything. I'll fix that later. But uh, let me just make sure that they're not like all checked off or anything like that. Just to, just to really quickly go through here and fix this problem. So yeah. Let's see here. So this video right here doesn't belong. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in tag, mod review right here. I'm going to uncheck that and hit apply. And it's going to remove that. And now there are only 76 videos in this list. So. Now that I've done that and I have mod review as its tag, if I go ahead and I go back to my channel here, uh, you'll see the way that this is organized. Just go ahead and let's scroll down here. So if I go to mod review and I hit this, you can see, again, this listing is organized based on the word mod review as I have it organized. And then you can hit manage tag and you can organize these videos however you want. Um, so for example, if I wanted solar redstone to be on the top, I could check that one off and I could uh, hit move to top. I can move any one of these that I want to. Like basically what I did is I moved some of my, you know, like my uh, TNT type mod reviews up here, you know, the cheap back mod, elemental creepers, you know, some of the more popular mod reviews I've moved up to the top here. And then the rest of them are just kind of below it randomly. I could organize these uh, by date if I wanted to though, unfortunately, and this is a feature I don't like either is that I can't check all of these off and organize them in a specific way like I can with playlists. If I go to a playlist, for example, and I, got, and I go to Forbidden Ant from Survival and I hit edit, I can actually organize these um, based, like I can do a quick sort based on views, title, date, random. Like if I hit random, seven, two, episode seven, two, one, four, five, et cetera, et cetera. But what I can do, if I wanted to, is I can organize them by date and then I can reverse it. Boom, now they're all organized by date earliest first. So if that's something that I wanted to do, but instead I actually want um, I actually want it to go this way. So yeah, that's something that I would like to be able to do with uh, tag playlists, and I can't wait if they I can't wait for them to add that feature if it is something that they do wind up adding in. So anyways, um, I think I've pretty much covered everything in a nutshell. Another thing that I want to cover as well, this is a very custom feature that I added in with, uh, well not a custom feature, but it's a feature that I really like that I added in with my channel personally. And as you can see, this bottom playlist here is called Matt Playthroughs. And basically what this playlist is, is it is a playlist of all of the episode ones of all of the Matt Playthroughs I have ever done on my channel. And I believe these are either organized in perfect order um, because I added them all in at once. So as you guys can see here, Withers Challenge is the newest one. But basically, like I said before, these are all episode ones. And if I click on any one of these, uh, hopefully, I think this works. If I click on any one of these, even though these don't play automatically, uh, on the top right here, you can actually see Next in Minecraft Maps Season 10 because this is a part of my uh, shows playlist here, as you guys can see right here, the show playlist thing right here. All of my map playthroughs are a part of this playlist, so what it allows you to do is you now you can see on the top right, is there a new episode out? Is there not? Is it the final episode? Is there another episode I need to go to? You can go ahead and you can click on part two. Part two will lead you to part three. Part three will lead you to part four, et cetera, et cetera. You will never get lost in the playlist that you're trying to... Uh, that you're trying to watch, I guess. Even though that was a feature that was there to begin with, I just kind of like the way that you can organize them on your front page like that. I like being able to add a bunch of episode ones rather than just, you know, like adding in every episode of every map playthrough I've done into a playlist and just hoping people, you know, like it that way. I, I like this organization and the way that it is as it is now. So anyways, uh, get, feel free to give me guy, give me your guys' feedback on the layout. You know, now that you've watched this video, you know, is there anything that you now like about the layout that you didn't? Do you still just absolutely not like the layout? Uh, what is your guys' opinion on the layout? I would really be interested to know, um, you know, what you guys think about the layout and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah. Before I end off, I might as well show you guys here. A lot of people have been saying, I don't like how you can't search for videos anymore. You totally still can. It's totally right there.
Just saying. You totally can still search for videos on any given channel. And yeah. <laughs> so there's that. And also the settings area here, it just it allows you to enable or disable the browse tab and the discussion on your channel and all of your regular settings, things like this, like post activity when I add video to public playlists. I actually don't want it to do that. So because that's very annoying to look at. Um, hmm. Maybe on my channel, it's OK, though. I don't know. Anyways, guys, I feel like I've pretty much covered everything that I can get into in this video. I know this video has probably been running pretty long at this point. I'm thinking like 20 minutes or so. I don't really know. But again, I think I got into everything that I wanted to get into. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end off this video here. So anyways, guys, hope you all have enjoyed this video. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.